Event Leviathan Issue 5 sees Lois meet with her secondary detective team, who can clear all her primary team members as not being Leviathan. Neither is Maxwell Lord, whom the world thinks it is. They do have one suspect, and it is Lois's father, Sam Lane, but she reminds him that she called them to solve this, but Ralph still thinks it was only to hunt down her father. Zatanna says Lois brought her and John on to get a magical perspective of things, things Superman and Batman have a hard time wrapping their heads around. With that in mind, Zatanna still thinks it's Sam Lane, wondering when was the last time Lois spoke to her father. Lois insists it's not him, as Zatanna pulls out a spell she used to create over the DEO Blast Site, a spell which will reveal things forensic science can't. Unfortunately, none of this will actually be admissible in court. Zatanna opens a portal door to Sam Lane's hospital room, saying they can all go and solve this together. Lois says that they have no proof, and Ralph says that they have a trail of proof, and Lois wonders why they would wait for her, with Zatanna saying that it's her father, and she should be there for this. Lois calls for Clark, making the team wonder what she's talking about, but when he doesn't answer, she contacts Batman from the car she stole. He says Superman and Plastic Man disappeared at the Batgirl target site. The second team can't believe Batman has been listening in, as he says that the biosensors in the car tell him that the detectives are telling the truth, or at least they think they are. Before he can send Oliver and Damien over to her, Lois jumps through the portal to her father's room. Lois asks him why everyone thinks that he's Leviathan, and Sam reveals that he knows Leviathan is right in what he is doing. Suddenly on the other side of the portal, something is happening as the team rush through to protect Lois and Sam. One of the Leviathan soldiers arrive, but Sam shoots him in the head, but the bomb the man had activates. Zatanna's magic, however, can't defuse the bomb, so as it begins ticking down, Lois goes to her father's side, and he tells her of the snowman's ticket, something he left all for her. The bomb goes off, and Lois and Sam are teleported to the middle of nowhere, where Sam Lane dies. In Chicago, Superman and Plastic Man confront Leviathan, who wishes he could see that they want the same thing, but he knows there's no way that Superman can see that today, thanks to the way he's been conditioned. Leviathan says that they got off on the wrong foot and wants to introduce themselves to one another properly. He reveals himself and his entire army, saying that they had planned their event to happen while Superman was off world, since they wanted him to come back and see how better it is. But now they have to resort to plan B and use the new tech they discovered in Spiral's R&D Black Ops files that were made just in case Superboy went crazy, meaning all this tech was specifically made to contain John. Leviathan says that if he was Superman, the idea that all these spy organizations had this plan for Superboy, after all Superman has done for them, would say everything that is wrong with everything in the world. Superman isn't buying what the villain is selling and wants to know what he wants. In Gotham, Batman and the others race towards Lois's last location, and the team wonder about Lois being Leviathan, but Manhunter has a bad feeling about all of this. Leviathan, meanwhile, says that the world needs change, and they know people like Superman will never change or be able to pull the trigger and do what is necessary to change things, but they are okay with that because not everything is Superman's problem to deal with, and this doesn't have anything to do with him. Superman says he lives on Earth, so it does, and Leviathan is well aware of that, and knows people put lots of pressure on him. The villain also knows about the fatherly issues Superman has been going through, saying he can relate to them. So he tells Superman something Jor-El should have told him, that not everything is his fault or his responsibility, and he should let them fix the world. Superman asks about the villain's mask, as Damien asks Manhunter about her staff, and who has access to other Manhunter tech. Green Arrow knows that the other Manhunters do, as Leviathan says that he knows everything, prompting Superman to tell the Leviathan soldiers that if anyone wants to leave, now is the time. Damien again asks Manhunter who else has the tech she has, and who else was a Manhunter, as Leviathan begins removing his mask, saying that the mask is a secret and the entire event is about truth, and the reason behind all of this is so there will be no more secrets. Clark sees who is under the mask as Manhunter realizes that she was set up because Leviathan is a former Manhunter. She demands Batman pull over the vehicle as it's hit by an energy blast, flipping it. The blast came from Talia Al Ghul and Silencer, who were there for Manhunter, wanting her to hurry up and join them since Talia can't believe that she has to save the world. Event Leviathan issue 5 was actually rather great and begun answering some questions and providing answers one issue away from the event finishing. Better late than never, I guess.
We also got the identity of the Leviathan, and now we know he is former Manhunter Mark Shaw. Wasn't specifically said in the dialogue, but it's pretty obvious it's Mark Shaw. Of course, this could all be a red herring and something could be easily changed in the last issue, but I don't think that will be happening this close to the end. It's really great when Bendis actually writes something competently and actually lays things out, since here we got Leviathan's reasoning for this and wants no more secrets and what this tech is behind him and what it was used for and what was it intended for and everything. It's all really laid out very well. Where was this during the other issues? I'm interested to see what the final issue will hold for these detective teams and what it will hold for the DC Universe's spy world. I'm going to give this issue an 8 out of 10.